Okay, so now we're gonna try to create an automation that consists of one deals being sent over to a new pipeline automatically. To do that, we're gonna use um, a program called Zapier and of course Pipedrive. So what I've done here is uh, create a filter that I'm just gonna show you. I've called it um, Zapier yeah, Zapier one deal move pipeline just to remember and basically all I've done is put deal status is one that's basically it so you're gonna need this filter later on when uh, setting up the procedure in Zapier but just to start we can uh, start making the filter there alright so next off let's go to Zapier so this is Zapier here um, not my account but I'm going to create the zap from here. So, for the first step, we're going to choose Pipe Drive, choose a trigger app, and uh, let's go back there. Yeah, Pipe Drive. Choose trigger. Let's choose this one new, new deal. So if we continue. So for the pipe drive account, uh, I'm gonna connect my own account. So here you'll have to put the API key that's uh, in your pipe drive profile. So in order to locate that, you have to go over to pipe drive settings. and then personal API so I'm just gonna skip this part so I don't show my API key but basically just go there copy the API key and paste it over in uh, Zapier so once it's done you'll have the, the account here alright so save and continue now this is the part that you'll have to um, uh, select the filter that you created before so we can just uh, click here and try to locate that filter so remember that I put zap here between brackets here so that's to help me remember so it was this one zap your one deal move pipeline let's continue alright test your pipe drive trigger by fetching an existing deal Let's fetch and continue, looking for, for an existing deal, and continue. Now for the action, we're also going to choose pipe drive. Choose action. Now we're going to update the deal. Yep, that's the one. Save and continue. Search your pipe drive accounts. This one that I've just added some time ago. So here's where we update the deal. So if you click here, you're going to be fetching information taken over from this deal that you used as a trigger. So here, we're going to, you know, update the changes. So this stays as it, as it is. We're not going to change the user who's owning the deal. The stage, let's read this. Stage of this deal will be placed in pipeline. If omitted, the deal will be placed in the first stage of the default pipeline. Here we're going to change this. So we want everything to go to a specific pipeline, specific stage. So let's send everything over to recurring revenue. That's my uh, last pipeline. And actually, I want everything to be in, uh, recur in recurring lead in. Right? Currency stays as it is. Title. Let's match it with uh, the title from our trigger deal. So this goes with that. Status. Required. 
So this one is very important. Deal ID. Since we're updating the deal, let's use the ID from All right, let's scroll down a little bit. Deal ID, there we go. So actually, let's omit this since uh, with the deal ID, it's enough. Person name, none of this is very important. All right. Okay, well, it seems that we need those. Let's put them back in there. Deal title and deal status. So. Well, it depends on what you want, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to make them open. You can put one as well. Well, let's continue now. All right, create and continue. test successful. So let's view the deal. Skip ad. All right. Finish. Name your zap. Auto move one deal to pipe. All right. Select folder. All right. Hmm. Let's put this as on. All right, see you on a dashboard. So let's go over to our pipe drive here, recurring revenue. Skip pad is there. All right, just moved in. So let's make another test. Let's go to this pipeline, for example. And well, let's uh, put all normal deals. Let's win a deal. Twitter beat deal. One. So, um, it's not gonna appear automatically there, and that's because Zapier actually uh, takes some time to like analyze all the data sent over from PipeDrive. So it sends data back every five minutes. And this is depending on the plan you have. Actually, with this plan, I'm not sure. I think it's five minutes, but just for the sake of testing, we can just run this um, zap just to give it a test. And it's gonna force this like searching time. All right, trigger on one pipe drive deal. All right, so it made a run. Let's go back to pipe drive and see what happened. All right, so the problem there was that I was uh, checking under invited user, but I should have been checking from everyone. So deal from the test is here, Twitter beat deal. Let's just try to make another test. Well, first, let's just win a deal. Let's go over to outer activities and win this deal. What's deal is called, and then let's go over to the current revenue, and let's step out of invited user. So quads is still not there, right? So every five minutes it should update this, or 50 minutes depending on which plan you have on Zapier. But let's go over a quick run here. Right, seems that it has been successful. Oh, there it is, Quats deal. So it has sent the deal from where it was. It was in out activities after it was one over here. And it has kept the same data from the deal when it was one. So as you can see here, it was marked as one at 734, which is right now. 
and then moved to this stage in the pipeline at this time. All right, hope that helps.